In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Today we're looking at Luke chapter 21, verses 20 to 24. But when you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, then know that its desolation is near. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let those who are in the midst of her depart, and let not those who are in the country enter her. For these are the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. But woe to those who are pregnant, and to those who are nursing babies in those days. For there will be great distress in the land, and wrath upon this people. And they will fall by the edge of the sword, and be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem will be trampled by Gentiles, until the time of the Gentiles are fulfilled. And glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. This passage speaks about the impending doom of Jerusalem. And, you know, we live in a time where... Uh, a passage like that is kind of like, okay, skip, skip, because, I mean, who really wants to think about the destruction of a city and ultimately the end of an era and even more ultimately the end of times? Although the Lord is speaking specifically about the end of uh, the city of Jerusalem and he points to the fact that the armies are going to surround it, he's pointing to something much greater, the mystery of the end. Um, about a month ago or two months ago, I met this guy and he was talking to me about uh, how, you know, uh, President Trump is working on uh, a peace in Israel and that they're going to rebuild the temple and that he's like, oh, I'm getting ready, you know, three and a half years from the point of when the temple is built, the Lord is coming back, you know, are you ready? And I allowed, I allowed myself to, instead of kind of dismiss him, I allowed myself to at, like, truly and deeply answer that question, are you ready? If the Lord were to come in three and a half years, how would you spend those three and a half years, Mark? What would you do in that time? And... And uh, it really messed me up for several days, which is something I encourage all of you to do, is to allow yourself to step out of the routineness of everyday life. Today, the Lord is saying to us, wake up. He says, woe to you who are, who are you know, pregnant in those days. Now, why? Why pregnant? Uh, yes, I mean, pointing to the reality of women being pregnant, it's very difficult when you're bearing a child to to move and to escape and to run and to, to do those things. But, but even more importantly, he points to the fact that we ourselves are weighed down in this life. So he's telling us to lighten up, not, not to lighten up as in when you hear, you know, any talk of the end of the world, you say, oh, come on, lighten up. No, he means lighten up in the sense that we must, you know, little by little shed because the reality is we are not here forever. Whether the Lord comes in three and a half years or three and a half minutes, uh, the reality is that we cannot even guarantee this morning. And you might say, come on, Mark, lighten up, lighten up. Who wants to talk about death and the end? Well, the reality is the more that we become aware of how much we are just pilgrims here, the more we can actually begin to live. You see, when we live in a way that, that we're going to be here forever, we live heavy. We live with roots in this place. We do things as though, uh, you know, they really, really ultimately you know, matter so much. And yet, I mean, they definitely, everything we do does matter, but maybe not for the same reasons. Maybe not for the reasons that are put forth by the ego, but rather they matter because they matter how we live eternally. We're just pilgrims here. We're not here forever. So whether the Lord comes in three and a half uh, years, or he comes in 30 years, 300 years, the point is this, the end is going to come. We must face both the end of Jerusalem, the end of the world, and our own end. 
And let's not kind of just fluff these passages away, but rather we need to face the fact that the little empires and kingdoms we build for ourselves will all pass away. So the question is now, now that we know this, now that we know that we don't, uh, that, that we're here for a short, temporary time, how are we going to live our lives? Like the warning that the Lord gives to the pregnant women who will flee Jerusalem and the difficulty of that, we too who are pregnant with, with uh, you know, cares of this life, pregnant, carrying uh, in, our, in ourselves, uh, you know, the desire and the lust for stuff and pleasure and comfort will have a very difficult escape, a very difficult end. So rather, let us lighten up by shedding, by giving, by being generous, by living as pilgrims in this life. Have a beautiful day.